Well, hello, and thanks for stopping by to watch this week's video. And today I'd like to talk to you about this. This is the Pop Voice UHF Wireless Microphone Kit or Set. And before I really get into it, let me take you down to the wood top to show you what you get inside this box. Okay, so this is the box it comes in. Yes, I already had this out for testing, so it may look a little different when you get it. This is the instruction manual. It's very easy to read and understand. And I do like how they have actual pictures, not drawings. You get some spare foam wind muffs, two black, two orange. Right here is the lavalier microphone. I'll explain what this part is in a moment. You get a charging cable, and what's different about this, once you plug this in to either a power bank, wall charger, or a power, uh, your computer, you can charge both of them at the same time. And yes, it's micro USB. And you do get an adapter. Now, you, how this works, you take this, and now you can use it on your device. Brings it down to a three and a half millimeter cable or port. Now this here is the transmitter. This is where you're going to charge it. That's the charging port. Of course the antenna. And you already know what that is. A quarter inch plug. And this is the hot shoe or cold shoe mount that you can put on top of your camera. And this mount even has a quarter 20 tripod mount in there so if you don't want to put it onto a tripod you can put it or on top of your camera you can put it on a tripod this is the transmitter belt clip this is where you're going to put either one of the microphones in right here is your power button the antenna nothing on the sides that's where you charge it right there on the bottom. And this is the headset. Has a gooseneck on it, so you can kind of twist it however, so it's nice and comfortable or just not in the way of your mouth all the time. And of course you still get this nice little plug with this little silver piece right here. Now what this is, is it locks it into place in your transmitter. If you look closely, there's threads right there. Put it in. Twist until you feel it snug up a little bit. And it won't come out. Untwi give it a few twists the other way. There you go. Comes out. And just let me show you what it looks like when it's on. This right here is the frequency. You get the battery indicator and a strength indicator right up in this other corner. And once you turn this on, you'll see a red light come on. And as soon as it connects to the transmitter, a blue light will shine. Let me shut it off. And the blue light goes off. Turn it on. There you go. Also right here is how you change the frequency. So if you're getting some interference while you're using it, tap the button here. It'll change the frequency. This will detect it. You get hooked up and away you go. All right, let's get back to the review. Okay, now that you've seen everything that has come in the box, I am currently using the lavalier mic right here, uh, the wireless one first off. And then I'll show you or I'll give you an audio example of the headset. Now you do connect it up here, and if you notice, come on camera, there you go, you get a nice little digital readout screen. It tells you right here the numbers are the frequency. You do get a little battery indicator light, and right up in this corner here, just above my thumbnail, see if my camera will focus in, it's a signal strength indicator. Now I've had this uh, microphone kit for about two months now and I've been using the lapel or lavalier mic for all of my videos since I got this in so 
If this isn't a good enough example for you on how good or bad this microphone sounds like, go back and listen to some of my previous videos uh, up to two months ago because I've been using this for all of those videos. Now let me pause the camera right now and I'm going to hook up the headset and you'll be able to hear what the headset sounds like. Be right back. Okay, now that you heard what the lapel or lavalier microphone sounds like, I put on the headset microphone so you can hear what this one sounds like. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I used this headset microphone in my last video. Now, of course, you don't have to have it this far away from your mouth. You can have it right up on top, but I don't think that sounds very good. So I like to keep it a little bit further away from my mouth. There's a few reasons why it does reduce the amount of you breathing, you know, inhalation and exhalation. It also reduces a lot of the P's, S's, and T's sounding better known as plosives. Does help reduce that a little bit. Now this actually has 32 channels that it uses. And if you happen to be using this microphone and you notice that you listen back or rewatch your video or something, or even if you're using it like through an amplifier, and you notice you're getting a lot of interference, all you have to do is on the top, you press the power button once, it'll change your channel, and the receiver will automatically search for that channel and reconnect. And there you go, you got 32 channels. So if you do have any interference, quick press of the power button which is right here on top and by the way the charging port is right there on the bottom and this is the belt clip which is integrated which I wish they could have made it removable you know instead of this cheap plastic thing but that's pretty much it both units the transmitter and receiver have seven a 750 milliamp hour battery it takes only about two hours to charge them and the runtime is anywhere from six to seven hours. Now, that does depend upon how far away you are from each other, and if there's anything in between, or if there's like a lot of fluorescent and or LED lights, obviously that can kind of interfere. So it might struggle a little bit and use a little bit more juice to make sure that it stays connected. And that's, well, pretty much it. What I'm going to do now, just to give you a better look at the receiver is I'm going to pause the video, hook up one of my older microphones to give you a better look at the receiver. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, um, now that I got one of my, my normal lavalier microphone on, I can show you what a little bit better look here at the receiver for the Pop Voice wireless microphone kit. And if you notice, you got a red and a blue light up there. And the red light is for power. The blue light lets you know that it's connected to this. And just to prove it to you, see, I got it turned off. And let me turn this back on. And as you see, when it connects, that blue light comes on. It is easy to take it out of the cradle, just like I showed you earlier. And that's it. Very nice, very simple. There's only a few things about the Pop Voice, this Pop Voice kit. I wish the microphone had a little bit more low end so it sounds a little bit more warmer. Um, my voice, it comes out a little bit higher with that this microphone set than what it really truly is. I got a little bit more bass in my voice. So I wish they would somehow reconfigure that microphone to give you a little bit more low end on that microphone. Also, it comes a little bit hot. What do I mean by that? Right now, with this lavalier microphone, I have the recording level on my Panasonic G6 turned up to 8. When I'm using the wireless kit, I actually have to turn the recording level down to four, 3 or 4. That way you don't always hear my breathing coming in and out and things of that nature. So if you do get this, 
before you really use it for anything, plug it into your camera or your device and run a few test videos with the recording level because there's no volume control on this. Okay, it's set at probably one type of volume and that's it. You're gonna have to rely on whatever device you plug this in for your uh, volume control. The second thing is this is the headset microphone and how it's supposed to sit on your head. The wire comes up and then down like this. You see that? I wish they would have had like a 90 degree uh, angle here or something of that nature. I mean, they do give you this little tiny, I don't know how well my, my camera will pick it up, but right here, it's like kind of like a little bit of a cable tidy. So if you wanted to wire to go a different way, it kind of holds it in place. But I really wish instead of this design, Pop Voice would have done a 90 degree angle coming down. So there's a lot less stress on this cable. So it'll come down and then you can adjust it however you want it after that. Otherwise, it's not that bad of a microphone kit. Now they do say you get up to 165 feet or 50 meters in the range on this. I really wish I could show you that, but right now, the time of me filming this, it's raining and this isn't waterproof and I don't want to ruin it. So I can't show you that. Um, also, this does use UHF frequencies. That's how come you're able to get to 32 different channels. And it works fairly well. I like it. Um, the only thing I can say is just make sure you're definitely top up the battery. If you make a lot of long videos or not necessarily long videos, but if it takes you a while to record your videos, like, like right now, to give you an example, I made a few mistakes during this video. And it's actually taking me probably about 45 minutes to get everything done right. Just me standing in front of this camera and presenting it to you. So what I'm trying to get at is if it takes you like 30 to 40 minutes every time to film a video, after probably about your third video, maybe your fourth, top up the battery in both of them just to make sure it doesn't go dead on you. Just simple. And if you happen to be out and about, yes, you can actually use a power bank to charge these up as well. So another good reason to have a power bank with you. So do I recommend you get this microphone? Yeah, it's definitely gonna improve your audio. Um, so why not? I mean, just like I said, just have to run a few tests on it with your device or whatever, you know, whatever video or wherever you're gonna use this on to get that volume done right. So you're not either too quiet or just way too loud and distorted goes with almost any microphone that you buy, whether it be this one, even a Rode microphone or a, like say a Blue Yeti, you still should test out that volume on it before you really get into and use it. So there you go. So like I said, do I recommend it? Better believe I do. It's a nice little solution if you don't want to have a long cable like I do right now. I got a long cable running to my camera. I know you can't see it. But sometimes having just a wired lapel mic is better than a wireless microphone. And I'm only maybe about four feet away from the camera. So do I really need this? No, not really, but it's nice to have in case I'm, you know, just for any odd reason. That's why I got it. So that's my review of the Pop Voice wireless UHF wireless microphone kit slash set. Hey, if you happen to like this video, please give it that thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and please don't forget about the notification bell. It would really mean a lot to me if you were to share this video on all of your social media sites. And well, until the next video, you have a great day.